<laughs> well, hello there, killer. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the most profit from failed settlement attacks. And for any of you who aren't sure of your manufacturing abilities, I promise you this is the video for you. It's very straightforward, and by the end of it, your character is going to make out really well. Now I'm going to lower my energy levels and take you through the tutorial. For this build, you're going to need the mods linked below. They are Manufacturing Extended, Better Manufacturing, Converging Conveyors, and Soylent Green. I also use a few other mods, but they're not required for this build. Also, if you're going to build inside a structure as I have, it needs to be 8 foundations long and 5 foundations wide. My structure is longer and wider, but I have the space and I plan to do other things with the structure as well. Before we begin with the first piece, for those of you who have a bit of OCD and you want to make sure your, your machines all line up pretty well, go ahead and come to the back of the building in the corner and place two of these conveyor belt intersections. You're going to want them to feed off to your right when you're facing them. A good way to tell where, which direction it's feeding is go ahead and try to connect something to it. See? Connects to the front. Alright, so they're feeding in the right direction. I usually put one of these pieces down and then I try to line this one up. You know, you've got OCD, so you know what to do. So we start with our body decomposer and let me go ahead and I'm going to put this branch joiner down real fast just so I can build another one. What color is this? There we go. So we'll build two body decomposers. We'll follow those up with recyclers. Recyclers will break down any of the junk they were carrying and their bones. two of these branches. And we'll put armor disassemblers. Now the armor disassemblers were supposed to be upgraded lately, but I haven't played with the patch, so I'm just doing it the old school way. And put some joiners. Then two mod recyclers. These pieces are nice and lined up. And a weapon disassembler. I manually put the weapons in. I don't know if I can trust the new mod yet or the updated version of this mod. So I just manually put all the weapons in. You can also put grenades in here and they'll break them all down for you. So this is the breakdown line. So you start with your body decomposers, and that's what you chuck the bodies in. It breaks them all down. Recycler recycles everything it can, and it spits out all the armor and stuff into here. And then it goes into all the armor goes into the body uh, armor disassemblers. And then the armor disassemblers will spit out some mods as well, and they'll go into the mod recycler. And of course, you know the weapon disassembler. So everything from here is broken down. Now we're going to start the building process. components. I want to sort right. So I'm going to put a sorter. Should it be right here? Yes. Put a sorter right there. On the other end of the sorter, I'm going to put a workshop storage. So anything I'm not going to want to use for an assembly line will go straight to the sorting or straight to the storage. Um, everything else will come down the sorting line. Don't worry if you don't understand, you'll completely understand our build. Now I'm going to put some sorts. And at the end, conveyor workshop storage. Let 
Now I'm going to go ahead and set up some dividers. Or, sh or should I say diverters? My bad. Um, that's all I need for this setup. Let's see. This will make it easier to fit bodies into the machines. I'll probably not use that setup. I'll probably have some other conveyors doing things, but this is the gist of it. All right. Do that. And I'm looking for an interval switch. I'm just going to make it look pretty. place anywhere so I can do little magic tricks like this. I like to put all my power or a lot of it on this wall regardless if I'm actually going to use it for the machines or not. This is just personal preference though. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through some of this to save you guys a little bit of time. Computer to control to control the interval, interval. This is where you'll also configure your manufacturing machines at. I set my on timer for about seven seconds. That should be good. Oops. And my conveyor speed to five. So this is your demanufacturing line, as I've said before, and this is all there is to the demanufacturing line. You, know, you got your body decomposer, recycler, these little babies here, <laughs> your armor disassemblers, your mod recycler, your weapon disassembler. Again, this is so great for grenades. I don't know another mod that lets you actually break down grenades, so that's what it, it's really important to me because I don't use a lot of frags. Or Molotovs, I use plasmas and better. Really don't use grenades, honestly. Then you have a right sorter. Your right sorter is going to feed components to your manufacturing line. Because this over here is going to be your manufacturing line. Don't worry, I'm, I'm definitely going to show you that in the video. But everything you're not going to use for manufacturing is going to go into this machine right here and go into your workshop. All right, time to build the second half. Before I begin building the assembly line, I would like to show you these clean conveyor pieces that I use. I primarily use them to make sure that things stay on the conveyor, that bodies and parts don't fall off. When you have your machines running as fast as I do, sometimes things go flying off the conveyors. So these help a lot. It doesn't prevent it from happening altogether, but it, it does help. 
I also put these glass walls up. That way when items come flying out, they hit the wall and they don't fall in the crack. Just little berries keep everything straight. Same with this side over here. You'll see why soon enough. Oh, and I built this wall. You'll understand that too. So let's go ahead and build an assembly line. So what do we... I'll definitely need one recycler. What do I want to build? I mean, there's there's all sorts of things you can build. You could you could build power armor if you wanted to. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I know some of you are interested in that. <laughs> Let's see though. What would I like? Ah, I know one thing for sure. Let's see. The Vault Tech remains recycler. This is probably the Soylent Green. I'm going to use this to make adhesive. That'll be pretty awesome because it only costs five bones to make the adhesive or make the glue convert it. You'll hurt it. You'll let's see. Just a glue processor. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do a chem processor at the end here. And I'll do a chem. Let's see. And I can use this machine to build ballistic fiber. All right. Go ahead and set this one up first. Check the directions, good. Good. Recycler over here. So the glue will come out of this machine and go into the recycler, where it'll be broken down into adhesive. I don't think anyone uses the ball track for anything. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody using it, but not I. I'm going to head, go ahead and put one of these fence pieces down. Sometimes items will get dropped in the middle here. That's also why this piece of glass is there. All right. I might need another one of these. Check, check. So the Kim processor is going to go ahead and go to a storage unit because I don't want it to go into the workshop inventory. utility builder is going to feed all the way over to the recycling machine. I should note you can you can always take the bare storage off and put more left sorters and just build you know build as many as you want. Uh, the power armor forge is really cool. I think people would really like that. There's a I believe it also makes power armor frames as well. So as many power power armors as you want can come out of that line. But you like to take all the machines machines that are going to make raw goods and put them first. That way they can all come back to the recycler. It saves you power. It's efficient. That's about it. I did forget to point out. Let's see. i got to connect that. You can use an up ramp. And it will feed the items and make them fall down on the conveyor and then send them down the line. However, sometimes... Sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes the, the items will 
just die on the ramp. They, they don't get a lot of momentum and they just sit on the ramp. It really doesn't matter how fast they're going either. I don't know. It's a Bethesda thing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, it just works. So when it works, it just works. And let's tilt. Nope, nope, tilt this way. There we go. Gotta love that place anywhere. Good. Good, good. There we go. That'll work really well. It looks like all the machines are set up. All the machines I'm making. Uh, again, um, if you like power armor, a power armor machine would really be something to crank out some armors for you. Yeah, that's everything. So, time to program the computers. Or the computer. Let's see. First, I'm going to set the conveyor speed. New pieces need to be calibrated. Uh, do I need to turn them on? Sometimes you need to turn the machine on first. So let me do that. And this will set all the new pieces to five. Configure these machines. Bone glue. Economy wonder glue. Adhesive. Only five bone. What a deal. Soylent Ultra Jet. Screenshot that. And what else? Oh, yes. The fiber. Military fiber roll. And this makes ballistic fiber. Now let me just dump the items I need into the machine. Okay, so all the items I'm going to use to manufacture things have been placed into, you know, one of each has been placed in this right sorter. That way, any items that get broke down from any mobs will come into this machine, and if I need it, it'll go down the line. If not, it goes to the storage. One of each item, of course, is in each sort. I've also loaded up the machines with a few spares that I had. Just so I can show you those in action before I, uh, before I go kill some stuff. We'll watch some bodies get broken down next. All right, so the raider attack's over. I survived. That's the first wave. No big deal. No, actually, none of them are really a big deal. It's but they can cause a lot of lag if you fight them one after another. I changed the conveyors up here. As you can see, I made them longer and added another entrance. That way, I could pile more bodies on because I also built this conveyor up to pull bodies off the hill over here. 90% of my first wave came off this hill. They'll spawn in one of three positions predominantly. I just got lucky and got the nearby hills where they all spawned. And here they all are. So, let's go turn the machine on and watch the magic. So the first machine's breaking them all down. Recyclers recycling. Everything's doing its job.
five fun makes wonderful, and from that it makes adhesive. But let's have some fun and turn this machine on. They all fit. <laughs> That's all of them. The reason for four armor disassemblers is just because they seem to process stuff the slowest. These mod recyclers are actually really fast. You could probably do with one. And this machine here, the weapon disassemblers, breaking down grenades. I don't know. So yeah, I mean, that's about it. I know I didn't get much commentary towards the end there, but I do enjoy just watching the machines do their work. In fact, I'm, the rest of this video is probably just going to be me staring at the machines as they just do what machines do. I, I will say again that that mod recycler, both of them, Mod Recycler will spit stuff out really quickly. My conveyor belts are set to 5 right now, that's why you see things shooting across. It doesn't seem to affect the sorters, but the individual conveyor belts, see, they'll just shoot off. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll try to get to them. I'm pretty good about answering questions. 
But yeah. Have a good one, and you know, if you want to, this machine's well worth the time to make it. it it'll get you just so many resources. For some reason, for some reason, these armor disassemblers will give you more materials than if you just scrap the stuff at the armor, you know, the armor workbench. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, leave any leave any comments or questions in the leave any comments or questions below while I sit here and just zone out to this. Have a good one.